Hey folks, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here. First of all, let me apologize for any weird things with my voice or any sniffing. I'm getting over a little bit of sickness, but I wanted to get this review out there. This is my first impressions review of the Kavitan Side Sword 2 as well as their buckler. Kavitan, Kavitan, I'm not really sure which. Um, you can check me out using these in a sparring video that I just posted a little while ago of myself versus my clubmate Gabe. Um, they are featured in that video and there will be featured in more to come for sure. All right, let's start with the buckler. So the buckler comes in two options, steel and a wooden slash leather option. I opted for the steel option. It is 100 euros on their website. It comes in by my weighing at 0.9 kilograms or 1.98 pounds. My measurements say that it is 11 and 7 eighths inch diameter or 30.5 centimeters. Um, it has a Pretty simple wooden handle, but there's a little bit of shaping to it, some taper in the middle, but it does have flattish edges, so you can kind of align your hand there and feel the edges with your thumb. It is attached by four simple rivets. Um, I'm not sure what, what it is. Feels pretty sturdy in the hand, doesn't feel too light. Um, the nice thing about this is, is that I could shape this a little bit more if I wanted to, and if it breaks, it's quite easy to replace. Just a piece of wood and a few rivets, no big deal. Um, I did not find it tiring to hold out at extension and I don't do a lot of buckler fighting. Uh, later in the match that I am doing with Gabe, you can see my arm starting to tire out. I had done another match with the buckler before I filmed that one as well. Uh, yeah, my arm will tire out eventually, but I did not find it hard to keep this at extension and manipulate it in several ways. Um, a red dragon glove will just about fit in here, but I opted for... Um, just a Purple Heart Armory leather rapier glove instead because the Red Dragon felt like I was really jamming it in there. So that's really it on the buckler. I quite like it so far. Absolutely no complaints. It's everything I wanted from a buckler, really. Let's move on to the sword. So this is Side Sword 2 on Kavitan's website. I chose to have the knuckle bow added. Um, that does not come standard. It's an extra 20 euro. It is listed at 250 euro on the Kavitan website. Let's just get to some stats first before I talk about details. So pretty much all of their stats on the website, which I'll link below, are accurate by my measurements, maybe off by a millimeter or two possibly, but there are a couple that were uh, noticeably different, but uh, not bad things necessarily. Uh, so the weight I weighed at 1.2 kilograms or 2.65 pounds, whereas on their website they have it listed as uh, 1,055 grams. So this is a little bit off. I don't feel like the knuckle bow would add that much. Either way, it does not feel like a heavy sword particularly. Um, and the other uh, discrepancy was with the point of balance. Um, on the website they have it at 14.5 centimeters and I measured it at 12 centimeters from the grip. Um, that could be just the difference of the knuckle bow's weight. I'm not really sure. I'm not really going to complain about the point of balance being moved back a couple of centimeters personally. So let's go into some details. I opted for a spatulated tip. You can get rolled or just blunt as well. Um, the edges are somewhat thin but I have had no complaints of people saying that they hurt or anything like that. It is quite flexible, as you see. I don't have any problems with this level of flexion. Uh, I haven't had any complaints, but I haven't used it a whole lot yet either. The guard seems uh, well forged and uh, put together, assembled well with the rest of the grip and handle and blade. Um, I don't get any rattle. Once again, I haven't been using it for very long, but I have used it for some sparring and some solo work. Uh, beautiful side rings. This one has some file work. Very nice cross guard that flares out a little bit towards the end. Knuckle bow has this little addition at the end. Pommel is nice and heavy, which uh, probably, you know, brings the point of balance back as well. I opted for a peened pommel. The grip, I chose leather. You can choose cord as well, but this is well done. Um, I see no Mars in it whatsoever after a good amount of solo work and some sparring. It does have a fuller running up from the grip. I didn't actually measure how long, but uh, it looks pretty well centered, looks nice, no issues there whatsoever. Overall, I really like how this handles. Um, it does have a little bit more authority in the cut than I expected, but I don't mind that whatsoever as uh, a kind of cutty sword person in general, but it does have quite a bit of point control, especially with the finger over the guard grip. Um, speaking of that grip, um, it will 
if you're not wearing any gloves, create a little bit of a hot spot on the inside of the finger and the back of the thumb maybe on some actions, but it's not something that's really bothered me. Um, and also speaking of that grip, <clears throat> uh, a red dragon does fit fine. I don't have better one-handed sword gloves than this. Um, I know that there are better options out there, but this is what I've got. A red dragon fits completely fine. You can get the finger over the guard, no problem. If it's in the knuckle bow, no problem either. And with, with space as well, right? So the only issue here is really caused by the glove um, in that Tamazone and stuff you don't quite have the same wrist control. You can still do it. Um, with Red Verso is a little easier. This you have to get a little bit more elbow into it to really make that arc, but it's it's still totally doable. I guess the only place where it might interfere a little bit is the thumb webbing, the back of the thumb here. The guard does interfere with that a little bit, but it's really not bad whatsoever. So overall, uh, I'm very, very happy with the Kavitan Side Sword 2 and the Buckler. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. I'd love to answer any of those questions or get a conversation going, and you will definitely be seeing more of these two items in future videos. Thank you all for stopping by the channel. Please click like, subscribe if you have not. Be good to each other, and ciao.